Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Um, so we uh, we were able to move the uh, find user by ID from the service layer, from the client service layer. We moved it, which was over here. Right. We moved it over to the to this to the server side. Okay. Um, so let's do a couple more. Uh, let's see what we need here. How about find uh, user by credential? So right now we're using it uh, for logging in, right? For logging in. Uh, so let's uh, let's let's implement that. Um, uh, so so to do that, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to um, uh, let's see what uh, what the what the assignment says. Right, it says to map it to to this over here, right? For find user by credentials, there it is, right? So we're going to pass this URL, right? Slash API slash user, and we're going to pass username and password uh, to the uh, client side and look up a particular user that matches this username and this password. Make sense? All right, so let's do that. Um, so let's uh, on the server side. Right, we want to listen for an incoming request. Right, notice that all these are read operations. Right, we want we are looking for a particular username. We're looking for a particular username and password. We're looking for a particular user with a user ID. These are all read operations. Yes, for read operations, the restful um, the the restful thing to do is to use the get uh, method. Right, and that's exactly what we're using doing here. Get. And this is the the, uh, the URL that we're using, right? And we're going to execute this function find user by credential. Find user by credential. There it is. Okay. Everybody good? Yes. Is there a reason different like uh, requests use different patterns in the URL? Like why don't we use the question mark for all find uh, Right. So so the uh, the the restful the the, the restful uh, convention is to uh, whenever you can use uh, always uh, path parameters. Okay. Uh, only when you need to filter, right, and and, um, and know uh, a subset of the actual list of, of objects, then you can you can provide those filters as query parameters. Okay. Uh, so, for instance, uh, slash API user slash API user, right, uh, would refer to all the users, right, uh, meaning give me a list of all the users, and we're using these these filters. Uh, to, to say, well, I don't want all of them, right? Maybe I want a user who has a particular salary or a particular date of birth or between several ranges, right? So you would use those kinds of filters as query parameters. Uh, if instead you're using something that uniquely identifies that entity, uh, uh, then by like a primary key, uh, then typically the, uh, the, the convention is to use it as a path parameter like we're doing here. That make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's uh, implement a find a user by credential, and let's implement it here. So function uh, find user by credential and request and response. Okay, uh, and uh, and so these these parameters, right? These parameters, just like just like we can retrieve uh, path parameters, right, from the request, we can also retrieve query parameters, right? These these parameters that are passed in the query. Right, they are referred to as query parameters, as opposed to these are referred to path parameters. Yes, these are part of the path, right, and they're embedded inside of the path. Whereas these are at the very, very end of the query uh, of the uh, of the actual URL. Make sense, right? Uh, so to retrieve them, we can retrieve them using um, request dot query. Right, so query is just like params. Right, allows you to parse elements from the URL, in this case the query here. So we can retrieve um, the query oops, uh, for the username uh, and we can retrieve the password uh, from the from the query parameter as well. Everybody okay? Right. Uh, now, now that we have the username and password we can just we can just iterate over the, the users array looking for that particular user. Make sense? And what we did over that already on the client side, there it is. This is the, this is the this is the uh, exact piece of code that we want, right? So let's copy that from the client side and move it over to the server. Uh, and this is going to iterate over all the users, which is the local array, users array in the, in the server. And when it finds it and it matches, right, when it matches, uh, then we have found the, the, the user. 
In this case, we don't want to return the user. Uh, perhaps what we can do is, is send or respond, respond, you know, send back. Now, if we know that we are responding with a JSON object, right, a preferable thing to do is to use the JSON function as opposed to send. Send is a fairly uh, powerful function that allows you to send anything, right? Uh, it can send files, it can send text, um, er error codes, uh, status code. Uh, but if you know they're exactly that, you know it's a JSON object that you're sending back. Dot JSON is a simpler, uh, less powerful function, a faster function that knows to use exactly the correct uh, MIME type and the correct uh, uh, encoding to send back the uh, the, the JSON object. Uh, if if um, if if it's um, or we're going to return null. Okay. Well, not return. So we're going to respond send uh, send back. Send maybe a 404. Send 404, meaning go and find it. That uh, that user is not found, right? Which makes sense, right? You would send a 404 for uh, for a resource that is not found, right? Um, uh, again, send is a smart um, is a smart function. It knows that if it's a number, it interprets it as a status. Uh, but there is a a dedicated function called send status, right? That that only takes numbers uh, and only sends status information. All right, so if we refresh this, right, and um, and we try it out, and this would be a user question mark username Alice and password Alice. Okay, uh, it doesn't find API user. Hmm. Did we restart the server? Maybe maybe I didn't restart the server. Did we try that? Still. Uh, hmm. Slash API user. Uh, did I register this? Find get slash API username username. Find by credentials. And uh, let's put a breakpoint here. Are we even hitting this? Oh. Hmm. This might be hit. Uh, this might be. Maybe this is being used by someone else. How about uh, assignment? Uh, assignment. Make sure that it's not hitting some other API. Let's restart. Huh. Uh, why are you not showing this? Let me. Um, we start your you're coming in here, right? I'm restarting. Um, uh, not yet, but I'm s at least I'm supposed to come in here and execute this file. Why are you? Not oh, I'm not. Wait a minute. Is that okay? It's coming in here. Okay, it's doing that. It's got users. Put a breakpoint there. Continue. Okay. Let's refresh. Error. What error are you giving me? What, what are you saying here? Uh, the server responded with a status of 404. Am I hitting? Hmm. Fine user. Am I sending this always? Let's continue. Refresh. 3000. API. Is the server running? Is my previous <laughs> working? User. Okay, so 234 works. Uh, get. Find. User. Does the order matter? Restart. So 234 works. Assignment. Assignment. Am I misspelling it? Oh, you know what? I think it doesn't like URLs here. It actually ignores them. 
No, that's not it. <laughs> API user. Why can't it find the endpoint? API slash assignment find user by credentials. And this listening, it is listening to 3000, right? Why are you not listening? Fine, and this is correct, right? This is the same. I'm sorry? In 3000? What am I using now? 3000? Uh, that should not matter. Console network pending. Ooh, that's that's better. That's better. And uh, response username. Let me see if I'm coming in here. Let me see just a minute. Copy password. Let's restart. Let me see if I am even getting in here. Okay, undefined and undefined. Okay, so we are hitting this this uh this this function. Uh, maybe it's not query. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay. That's that that would help. Okay, if I had this username right, user username equal Alice and password equal Alice. Okay. All right, that, that works. Okay, what did I do? The URL, okay, so it was a URL. All right, let me see if I can remove that. I can go back to that, refresh. Right, right. Assignment. Actually, I should, I should make all these assignment, right? Assignment, refresh, user. Okay, all right, we're back in business. API, assignment, user, and we have username, Alice. So if it doesn't find it, if it doesn't find it, uh, let's see, yada, 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 if user, yada, yada. Okay, so in this, we want to return, meaning don't continue, right? Uh, but if we fall out of the for loop, if we never found it, then we return a 404, okay? Uh, so let's see. Yep. 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 Exactly. Yeah. We'll deal with that in a minute. Yep. So what we're going to do is that we're going to we're going to create one that that can respond to both of them, and depending on which one we get, right? If we have both of them, we'll use one. Or if we have just one of them, we'll use the other. Right. So let, let's let's do this one first. All right. Uh, so let's uh, restart, and let's see. Indeed, if we if we do that, okay, we get Alice, uh, or oops. If we type something else, we get not found, okay, which we're, is what we we're looking for. Everybody okay? All right.